A huge thanks to Brian for sponsoring this video. Good morning, and welcome to Titians. Welcome back to another video. Today, just a very short but sweet little problem to get you started. Into the weekend, we got a system of equations where we have the absolute value of x plus two times y is equal to negative thirty, and the second equation is absolute value of y times x minus one is equal to three. Try it out for yourself, and once you're done, post your solution in the comments and then see if you got it right. Now, if you look at something with absolute values, in a normal case, what you would do is you would take a look at cases. In a normal case, we got two cases for the absolute value. If we have the absolute value of x and x is less than zero, what we do is we just turn the absolute value of x into negative x. Because, for example, if x is equal to negative three, then negative negative three turns into positive three, which is exactly the absolute value of negative three. And if x is greater than zero, then obviously, or, or greater or equal to zero, you could go both ways, then it's just equal to x, obviously, because the absolute value of positive number is just a positive number in itself. Now, this would be the casework that you would normally go through, but before we do that, let us take a look at the equations individually and see if we can extract some information from those equations. What you might notice is that on both equations, we got a multiplication of two factors. On the first equation, we got a multiplication of two things being equal to negative 30, a negative number. How can you get a negative number by multiplying? Well, by multiplying a positive by a negative number. Now you might notice something, namely x plus two in f values is always strictly positive. This is how the norm has been defined. Meaning in order for the first equation to be true to a negative number, we must have y to be less than zero. This is what we get from equation number one. Now, what about the equation number two? If we take a look at the equation number two, we are going to notice that we are gonna have a positive number on the right hand side. How can we get a positive number? either by multiplying two negative numbers together, which doesn't work out because we have the absolute value of y here, which is always positive. So the only option left is for both factors to be positive, meaning x minus one must also be greater than zero, just like the absolute value of y. And what we can do is we can extract more information from it, namely we can say that x must be strictly greater than one. Also, it's a strict order relation, so we can't have equals here because um, if we have zero, then multiplying absolute value of y by zero doesn't yield three in any case. So this right here is actually all the case work done because now we can go ahead and get started with, for example, the second equation and see what this is going to yield. What you're going to notice, y is less than zero. Take a look. The absolute value of y, when y is less than zero, it's gonna yield negative y. So our second equation is going to unfold very nicely into negative y times x minus one is equal to three. And now what we can do is we can drag the negative one into here, turning this into minus x plus one. And then we can divide both sides by this part right here. Think back, it's a strict order relation, it's not equal to zero, so we can divide both sides back. Meaning y is gonna have the value of three divided by um, one minus x. Okay, perfect. So we got something for y, and now we can put this up here into this equation. Now, we are going to impose our second condition that we got here, our second order relation onto our first equation. Namely, since x is strictly greater than one, that means that x plus two is also strictly greater than three. Obviously, three is a positive number and all the other positive numbers after three, all its successes and so on, are also gonna be positive. Meaning the absolute value of x plus two by this condition that we have right here, okay, is gonna be just positive x or x plus two in our case. Meaning for the first equation, what we are going to get is that this is just x plus two times y is equal to negative 30, but what is y? It's three divided by one minus x. So we got x plus two times three divided by one minus x is equal to negative 30. And now we can just solve this equation and then we are basically done because we get a value for x out, which we can put into here and then we can just call it quits. Now we can divide both sides by three. For example, um, this gives us just positive, uh, negative 10 
on this side, and then we can multiply both sides by one minus x. It's not equal to zero, please remember. Then we are going to get x plus two is equal to the negative sign turns the relation down here around the signs, meaning we are going to end up with 10x minus 10. And now we can just solve this. We can subtract x on both sides and add 10. We are gonna end up with 9x being equal to 12 and dividing both sides by nine is gonna give us that x is equal to 12 divided by nine or by canceling out threes on the numerator and denominator, we are going to get four over three. And this right here is the value for x, so one dot three period. And now we can put this into here, giving us a value for um, y being equal to three divided by one minus four over three. One minus four over three is three over three minus four over three, which is negative one third. And then taking the reciprocal gives us negative nine. So y is going to yield a uh, well, an integer solution at least, but x doesn't. And this is my today's exercise. Are there any values for this inhomogeneous system for not negative 30 and, and 3 that you can substitute such that you get um, integer solutions out for both x and y? Leave some comments down there below if it's possible or if it's not, and if it's possible, what those must be substituted for. And I hope you did enjoy what you have seen today. And if you are interested in more calculus and algebra and all this nice stuff, then I invite you to check out the content of today's sponsor, Brand, who are kind enough to sponsor yet another video here on this channel. If you are like me and you just love solving puzzles, doing mathematics, or maybe also some other stuff in the STEM field, like physics, then Brilliant and their contents are the perfect fit for you, most definitely. With their nearly 70 interactive courses in all topics STEM, they provide you with some of the best online learning content that you can find out there on the internet. And a learning concept is simple, learning by doing, and I mean that literally. Yes, it's a platform on the internet, it's also an app that you can use on the go, but the special thing about their courses is that you start off very slowly with basic stuff, and then over time you are gonna get gradually harder inside their courses, more abstract. But it doesn't feel like it's getting more abstract because what they do is they use graphics and visualizations that you can play around with in a very, very playful manner to learn something new on the go or maybe at home on a daily basis. And if you are one who loves to play around with visuals, to, who loves to craft functions, for example, in coordinate systems and see how generalized functions are going to perform under transformation of their parameters, for example, then Brilliant is seriously the best source for you to learn something new on a daily basis. And I mean it when I say it, and you should check it out for yourself and see if I'm telling the truth here on camera. I'm just an internet guy, so I could say a lot of things. But the best thing to do for you is just try it out and see if it's something for you. By using my link at the top of the description, brilliant.org slash maps or one of the QR codes up here somewhere at the top um, of, of the screen. With it, you're going to get a 30-day free trial of amazing awesomeness, the whole landscape of Brilliant for completely free. Check it out. And if it feels like it's something for you, if this could turn into a long-term relationship between you and the services, then definitely make sure to make use of the link completely. And the first 200 people to do so get 20% of their annual premium subscription, which is an amazing deal. They are adding stuff on a regular basis and they already have so many courses lying around. You are going to get your lifetime's worth of um, brain food <laughs> already from the stuff they, had, they have uploaded over on their website and app. So definitely make sure to check it out and support the channel this way. And this concludes today's video. It was just a short one, but I hope you still did enjoy it. I'm wishing you guys a flammable day and please stay safe. See ya.